Herman at seven and three. It's a good Furman team. Team that we'll talk about as the show, you know as the game goes on. This team is returning a lot from a team that was one shot away from making the NCAA tournament themselves. And here we go tonight from NC State. You'll also be very hard pressed to find a better officiating crew here in this one. Roger Ayers, Doug Sermons, and Brian O'Connell, three of the very best in college basketball. Furman with Slauson here at the top. Well, their top talents, Jalen Slauson, number 20, to get it inside. And the first bucket of the game put in by Furman. And that's Garrett Heen. As you're starting five for NC State tonight, how good is Jarkel Joyner to compliment Terquavion Smith for the Wolfpack? They're playing like the best backcourt in the ACC right now, if not the country, Jarquavion. You know, Smith is, is, is a great off guard, but has point guard skills, and Jarkel Joyner is just a tremendous leader and does so much for this Wolfpack team. Casey Morcell missing on the fadeaway rebound. DJ Burns keeps it alive. Now Morcell for three. Great start for NC State. Getting Burns, getting getting the offensive extra possession there on the glass, finding finding shooters, and no one's shooting the basketball right now better than Casey Marcel, second in the ACC at 48 percent. He's shooting the lights out right now, and just to add a piece to his game, he's just improved three-point shooting every year. Yeah, 29th made three of the year for him, four off the team lead from Smith. Wolfpack the other way off the missed three. Joiner now puts up a three ball. That's in and out. NC State wants to play at a faster pace. I think don't let the numbers mislead you. Furman wants to play at a faster pace, but they want to play at a faster half court pace and executing their offense. Marcus Foster got inside and got knocked out. Last touch by Furman. And Kevin Keats now in his sixth season for the Wolfpack. And remember going back to his days, Hargrave Military Academy, 10 years there, had 103 players sign Division I scholarships, 18 more at the Division II level, and the assistant of Louisville in three years at UNCW as a head coach. So many connections, right? How many people does that guy know? I mean, he's, even from his coaching tree, I mean, he has guys on his staff that have gone on to coach, and he's been around a long time. Coached many great players. It's Marcel with another three, his second of the night. Now first turnover here. Nancy State wants to get after their pressure. They need to turn Furman over to eliminate having to guard all those Princeton actions. Morcell, the only player in the ACC with two games at six plus threes made on the season. He's off to the hot start again here tonight. Two for two from the outside, six to two Wolfpack. And again. He checks out there. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> well, you had told me earlier today before the game, you felt like they had to get turnovers and look, they get another one here again. This is the type of game that NC State wants to play when they're at their best. Just attacking you with pace, creating turnovers. I think 15 is the number that they want to get you because they, they press you so much. I think that's just something that's a big part of their game. Bob Ritchie. Just 39 years old, head coach for Furman, his sixth season as well. How about the job that he's done to take this program that was really dormant, right, yes. before he yes. got there and what they've done over the last five, six years? As he told us earlier, just development, retention, and consistency he's had in his tenure at, at Furman has just been admirable. 22 wins last year and a last second shot away from making the NCAA tournament got upset in the conference championship. Burns on the jumper, another steal here, and a three-pointer by Clark. And that is tracked down to keep it alive is Smith. Clark is fouled. Ideal start for the Wolfpack. I mean, forcing our turnovers. They're getting up the threes that they want. They're getting into their shooters early on and everything you want. You got Burns inside when things settle down. And this is the start that you want for the Wolfpack. Three turnovers already for Furman. What was the deal there in that Miami game for NC State when they lost the last game by seven? It just didn't force enough turnovers. I think they only forced six against Miami, and, and, and that's a big issue for them. I mean, they, they, they're they better when they're not having to slow down in the half court and run sets. They just want to get out and run, attack you off the bounce, and spread you out. And creating turnovers has been a staple and, and, and for Coach Keats and his state program. And he couldn't do it as much a year ago. And I asked him in the preseason before this team went on their foreign tour. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, you know, you didn't press as much. And he's like, hey, Rant, chill. I didn't have bodies. I couldn't do it. And, you know, I couldn't. Guys would wear down. So I think he has enough bodies right now. He's probably looking for a little bit more bench production. Mm -hmm. But again, I think he's solidified in the starting group right now. 
Jalen Slauson was called for the foul for Furman, and Jack Clark has made it a 10 to 2 game here. This answered that first basket scored by Furman. It's a 10 0 run here by NC State. NC State will look to switch a lot. I think they feel comfortable switching everything, but when you get this kind of matchup right here size-wise, you want to take advantage of it. Good rotation here on this offensive set, and it's J.P. Pagese that knocks down a three ball. Just great offense. They got the Mitch match they wanted, and credit to Slauson. Just got the Mitch Mack. You wanted to put him on the hip, force rotation, and make Burns come help. They did. Swung it out and got an open look. Burns being denied by Heen in the post. He's given up a little bit of size there inside, so expect Burns to touch it a little bit more. And here's the takeaway. First turnover of the night for NC State. And a foul as Bothwell was trying to go baseline. We talked about the difference in pace. Both teams wants to score in the 80s, but the difference is Furman wants to play with pace in their half-court sets. I think State wants to play the entire length of the court and use play 94 feet, whereas Furman will run off turnovers, but they would like to carve you up and with their multi-facet multi -off, offense. Cuts and moving without the ball, these DHOs, and got to guard this guy. Bothwell so tough and kicks it out for Foster from, for three. It's no good. A foul on the rebound. It's going to be on Foster. Previous foul was on to Quavian Smith for NC State. Last night, College football just lost a really special coach, remembering Mike Leach when we come back after this. We love our new home. There's so much space. But we have ants. Expired. 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 It's a lot of house. I hope you can keep it clean. At least GEICO makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. For bundling made easy, go to GEICO.com. The Voyager gazed in wonder. It was a time machine. Hello, hello, anybody there? Sam. Hey, little brother. The time machine worked. Make this December one to remember. It's bow time. This holiday season, put a bow on it with a big bow box for your family, friends, and neighbors. Because nothing says seasonings greetings like boldly seasoned chicken, fixins, and biscuits. Tonight, order a big bow box and spend less time in the kitchen. It's bow time. Let me stand next to your fire. Bleu de Chanel, eau de parfum. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. Devastating the college football world and, of course, in Mississippi State. Head coach Mike Leach passed away last night at 61 years of age. So sad to hear this Randolph, and you can only imagine, you know, what's going through his family's mind, the players, the everyone in Mississippi State and beyond, and our thoughts and prayers go out to the Leach family. Yeah, I mean, prayers are all to his family, the Mississippi State, their community, and college athletics in general. I mean, sometimes you get so caught up in the competitiveness of games and Give people, you lose great people, and none greater than Mike Leach. I mean, just an unbelievable personality and a heck of a football coach, and he'll be missed by many. And that, that community needs your prayers right now. His family needs your prayers right now. And just please say a prayer for him and his family. Just a tremendous loss, and we're all feeling the loss of that. And I understand how that can be at times, being at a you know Wake Forest, and, and if you've been around Wake Forest, and anyone will tell you, Skip Prosser losing Skip Prosser to this day. His name, his his, his 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 just communication with the people, everything about him is just still in that building. And 
Um, you, you can't walk around Winston or walk around Wake Forest campus and not think to skip Boston. And I'm pretty sure right now that'll be the case down in Mississippi State. So again, prayers to him and that the community and his family. And just a tough, difficult day. I was able to call his final home game this past season, just over a month ago. And he spent an hour with us just talking, and it wasn't even about football. As we all know, he's so funny, quirky, yeah, he's just a great, great human being, just a right? Great personality, made the job, made the job fun, made him being yeah. around it fun. And there's not a lot of people like that. His impact on the game will be long felt with this, this with the staff and people that he's done. I mean, just unbelievable man, and he, he'll be dearly missed. Agreed. Foul was on Alex Williams for Furman as DJ Burns capped off the three-point play. 13 to 5. Wolfpack here. Shot clock. Another takeaway. Fourth turnover of the game. Smith hits it back off, and the shot is rejected. Slauson. They had a chance for the easy two, and instead it's Furman the other way here with Bothwell. And that's the two inside they needed for Tyrese Huey. Both teams defended at a high level. NC State just swarming, but Slauson there just shows you why he's a SoCon reigning defensive player of the year there. He's a two-way guy. Just comes down, chase down, block from behind, and nearly swings a full-point possession ability, taking away two from NC State and scoring here on the other end. Three-pointer Jack Clark. Rebounded by Slauson. That's travel. Great job by NC State. That's a scout report play. Stand down on the shot play. Just swarming around. Just active on the ball here. But look at Slauson coming down, not giving up on a play. Chase down block. Saving his team two points, and they go down and score on the other end. Just heck of, a, heck of an effort. He's a, he's a two-way player. Again, SoCon Defensive Player of the Year. And he's a guy that can switch and guard the ball, guard bigs. Not many versatile defenders like him in college basketball. Coming up on six minutes gone by here in the first half. Smith, and that's his first points of the night, 15 to 7. He just scores it in so many different ways. I mean, he's a three-level scorer, and he's really efficient at doing it. And again, it's the reason he's the third lead scorer in the ACC. 17.8 points a game coming in for NC State. Three ball Slauson. Way long. Offensive rebound Furman. Good job there by Pagese to track it down. What when do you want to see here offensively? Well, when you're guarding this team, they run a lot of Princeton acts, a lot of cut without the ball. They're taking a lot of long range shots. JP Pagese, I mean, he is just, he's the next one, I think, point guard. <laughs> Bob Richie's been spoiled with great point guard play, and he may be the next one. And right back the other way is Terquavian Smith. So he counters with a three of his own, and he's got five points. He's explosive. I mean, he can score it in so many different ways. And if you're a state fan, that's a great sign for him to hit two in a row. We're starting to heat up here, Redolf. Yeah, I mean, he can do it from deep. He can do it off the bounce. He creates his own shot. He's one of those guys you just don't have to run plays for. You can just give him the ball and get out of his way. See the numbers, both teams scoring over 80 points a game this season. See if we're on our way to that here tonight. Rebound here by Alex Williams, and a foul is called. Alex Williams a big physical wing, and when he comes in, as you see, Attacks the offensive glass there. It's not a great three-point shooter. He's only shooting about 30% from behind the line, but he's a big physical wing. He'll post smaller guards. And that's what you want to see when you're coming from the bench. Make plays, create offense for yourself. And he just did that going to the glass. Coming up on Saturday on the ACC Network and the ESPN app, college basketball doubleheader starts at 1. We've got North Florida and Pittsburgh, then Cornell with a 50-mile drive up Route 11 to square off against Syracuse. The Orange have won the last 41 against the Big Red, dating back to 1969. That's coming up on Saturday right here on the network. Syracuse playing good basketball right now. They struggled earlier. Right now they come up, they've won four in a row. I mean, four straight, and they've won 1-0 in the ACC, winning on the road. and. I'll be calling that Cornell game, so there you go. That's a, that's a pretty good team. That team took Miami down to 105, 102. I think it's a close game, so it should be, should be a good game. And I'll be there next week with Pitt at Syracuse uh, for that one. Pitt, <laughs> Pitt actually started the season one and three. They've won six of the last seven. Here's a three ball. Marcel, he does it again here, Randolph. That's his third already tonight. He's got nine and a timeout, Furman. Hey, great shot, third one. NC State up early. We love our new home. There's so much space. But we have ants. Expired. 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 It's a lot of house. I hope you can keep it clean. At least GEICO makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. For bundling made easy, go to GEICO.com.
Solid start here for NC State. Casey Morsell ran off. He doesn't want to be the second best three point shooter in the ACC. I think he wants to be the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is shooting the lights out, man. What an unbelievable start to the season for him. I mean, he's improved his jump shot so much. I mean, he's shooting nearly 50%. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable to see what he's doing right now. I and mean, he's on the tour place and doesn't look like he's trying to slow down at all. First one in the gym. Works on his game. Here's Smith. How good is he? That's in and out. Rebound Thomas. Back out and Morsell another three. That's way short. But again, it's LJ Thomas in there for the offensive rebound. Oh, what a spin. Wow. <laughs> LJ Thomas putting this defender in a spin cycle early coming off the bench. But they're really active defensively. They're really active turning them over and forcing quick shots. And a block here by Smith on a three point try by Pagis. Great pass. Not able to finish that time is Ernest Ross. I think he was surprised by the pass as much as I was. The geese works in inside. He no good. Thomas is in there again for the Wolf Pack. Morcel count it. Chance for the three point play. Wolf Pack just playing at the pace they want to play at. Turning them over, quick shots, getting to the rim. Here, LJ Thomas just driving here, <laughs> putting his defender to spin cycle off the glass. 10 0 run by NC State, up 15 early here in the first half. Go down! Okay, I'm an alien. If you're making a sci fi movie, you'd got go. Uh -oh. The Voyager gazed in wonder. It was a time machine. Sam. Hey, little brother. The time machine worked. Make this December one to remember. It's bow time. <laughs> Some folks say don't call it a comeback. But when the sizzling, savory pork chop griller's back for a limited time in all its tender, marinated glory, go ahead, call it a comeback. It's bow time. Let me stand next to your fire. Hey, let me stand next to your fire. Wow, let me stand, baby. Bleu de Chanel, eau de parfum. Celebrate this moment. And every moment, the Every Moment Collection, only at K. I'm falling in love with you over and over again. Hey, Peloton, step into your power. Let's go. Ah, you didn't come to work out. You came to outwork. Let's get it. Yo. Boom. Two plus two plus four. Five plus come on, you got this. My Everyday man's on the hey, block. Hey, no challenge, no change. The ting goes. Let's go. Get four hundred dollars off Peloton packages. Terms apply. People who come to cricket stay with cricket. I love how cricket has no hidden fees, no hidden charges. It's just predictable. With cricket, I can stay in touch with my grandson as much as I want without being concerned that my bills go up. The 5G is like fast, fast. It makes sharing photos of our projects and video calls super easy. Switch for the speed, stay for the savings. Smile, you're on Cricket. Book a Priceline, because when you save more, you can no way more. No way. No way. No way. Taste thin, crispy, buttery, delicious. Taste the love. Taste. On the left for NC State, Dusan Mahorchich dislocated his right patella two games ago versus Comet State. He's out indefinitely. He's talking to the superstar about to come in, Isaiah Miranda. What's happening with that? You know, just giving him a, t a taste of what's going on. Miranda just getting on campus, just enrolled in school. I don't think he's been in classes yet. He hadn't done anything. He just checked in and you know, moved into the dorm. So you love to see that from an experienced guy. And Mahorchich be back. You know, he, I think he'll be back sometime in February. You need that type of leadership. That's what you want from your older guys, teaching your younger guys, kind of telling them how things will be. Almost nine points, six and a half boards a game. 
pretty much that same injury he had last year at Utah, the transfer out of Utah. So the graduate transfer, Mahorchic at 6'10", 235, will be without his services, as you said, for a while. They're optimistic he could return. But then this Isaiah Miranda, wow. What a special talent, eligible in just a couple days, right? Yeah, he, I mean, he'll start practicing soon. He's quite not yet eligible to, to practice with his team. But he's, you know, he's getting out there. I think he'll be eligible, I think, tomorrow, the day after. And, and it's, it's difficult what he's, he's trying to do as well. I mean, joining a team at this level, you know, and, and, and playing and essentially coming in an ACC basketball without an offseason is just incredibly difficult. And there's a player on Furman staff that can attest to that. You know, Carter Witt has done that, and that's just a difficult transition, and, and, and I can't understate that. And I know he'll be, he's got a lot of veteran presence and a lot of good players around him to help lean on him, but he's hes a talented kid, and he's up for the challenge. It's good timing here, obviously, with the injury to Mahorchich. I mean, they need, you know, some help there, and they're going to get him. Yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be great. It's going to be great for him, and he won't have a tremendous amount of pressure. He gets to physically, you know, learn. He has, he's going to have a lot going at, going at him at one time. What does it do right now uh, to number 30, DJ Burns, as you see a foul inside? Number 30 for NC State, and what it's like now for him and in the increased minutes that he's got to play. Well, he's playing. He usually come off the bench. He can give you, a, like, a change-up. I mean, he's such a physical guy. You get him inside and, and throwing the ball through post. They, originally, I think the plan was just to press and go in the zone a lot more, but Keach is more of a man-to-man -man coach, and now, as you can see, teams are going to attack him more in ball screens, and he's got to play a lot of minutes. Sunday women's basketball quadruple header starts at noon Eastern. You got Wake Forest, Syracuse, who are featuring these games, Louisville and Pittsburgh at 2. Then you got Notre Dame and Virginia Tech, and then Clemson and NC State rounding it out at 6 p.m. right here on the ACC Network and the ESPN app. Full day of hoops coming up on Sunday. Notre Dame 8 and 1, lone loss to number 20, Maryland. And Virginia Tech 10 and 0, number 6 ranked, highest in program history. Elizabeth Kitley. I, I sung her praise a year ago as player of the year. That yes. all changed this year. I mean, man, is she good. Averaging almost 19 points a game and just over 11 rebounds. Fun player to watch. He's coming up on Sunday. It's a 14 point lead right now for NC State. Nine minutes into this first half. Good play defensively inside by Furman. And on the takeaway, here they come. And Carter Witt, he got it stolen. That's the one thing Carter has to do. And Coach Richie just said he wanted him to take care of the basketball. He comes in first possession, turns it over. And now, Ernest Ross, a little bit out of control with <laughs> a crazy spin. That's what happened at times. You get to your bench, you know. Guys come in and get a little bit out of control. No one wants the basketball right now. Kind of a hot potato there. And gets calls with the offensive charge there. I thought he got away with one. Maybe yeah. a travel there. Yeah. <laughs> we got eight points off turnovers for NC State here off the seven turnovers by Furman. NC State now has three of their own. NC State's doing a great job. They're not overplaying, you know. Furman relies on aggressive defenses. Once the back door, you get some open looks. You can tell NC State's game plan is to keep everything in front and just contest jump shots. Well, they've been hard pressed to stop J.P. Pagese. He hits another three ball. He's got nine. That's where his points have come from here tonight. Three of five from three-point range. J.P. Pagese said, hey, guys, help me out. I need some guys to help. He's gotten off to a tremendous start again. I think he's the next great point guard. Bob Ritchie's accustomed to just really good point guard playing. JP is going to be the next one. Smith backing his way down on him. No good. Rebound by Carter Witt. Takes it right to the hole himself and scores it. The Wake Forest transfer, Carter Witt, the sophomore for two. Yeah, that's what you want to see. Push, pushing the ball in transition, keeping his head up. He got deep. Playing off two feet to Keith and him, not jumping in the air, trying to make a difficult pass. That time he got deep, laid it off. He has that in his game. And Randolph, you know he wants to show something. He didn't play in the last game. First time all season that he was not in the game. Well, he's got a difficult task on that end. I mean, guarding either one of these guards. Jarkel Jordan is as quick as they come, so it's no embarrassment in that. But again, Carter Witt has the talent. But he just got to take care of the basketball on one end and sit down and guard on this. And Mike Ritchie believes in him. He told us that before the game. And he's told Carter Witt, you got to figure it out. And, and I think he'll get every opportunity. He, he's want to do this early, hoping that he'll turn things around in the second half of the season. Witt with a foul. How good has Joyner been, right? I mean, he's had a pretty special week. 55 points over the last two games. 
coming off that Pittsburgh game I, we talked about that he was really upset at himself about that and man did he respond uh, he's, he's, he's playing lights out basketball right now and just a, he is the leader of this NC State team the Pittsburgh game back on December 2nd NC State lost 68 to 60 and yet he had only one point and was 0 for 12 from the field 0 for 7 from three point range. Now has he has any semblance I mean that's an aberration it's a few baskets they win that game. Here's a nice feed inside the Bothwell. Bothwell finally gets himself in a scoring column but that's the basket that Thorn Furman wants to get in the half court set. They want to get those backdoor layups. That's a big part of their offense. Till then State done a great job of keeping everything in front of them. Oh and a steal here. Picked up by Jalen Slauson in the midst of a 9 0 run right now for Furman. They were down 26 to 10 and they come right back into it here. There's no quit in this team. And there's an advantage now. I mean, would you put put Burns in ball screens to get Slauson going and definitely getting this guy going? Bothwell a little strong with a nice box out by Jack Clark there as he got it tapped over to Joyner. Joyner. Off balance wild one and it's rebounded by Slauson. Yeah, I, I, I've often tell coaches this some players like that. Jaquel Joyner drove to the basket and hit the ground. Hard to match up your defense and get your defensive balance when point guards spend time on the ground. How about these players for Furman Randall? Always coming down shot ready at that three point line, right? Challenging. Now with a nice speed again inside of Bothwell. He's passing ability. I know coaching staff's upset right now. Got to be upset about that timeout. They talked about giving that big up for, the sh for three point shots and taking away layups. Just great passes by Heen coming out late. Wow. Mike Bothwell with the back door cut. Just the timing of it. They do just such an unbelievable job at that in the second one again. Big run here. Back in the game by Furman. Only down five. Got to have such a ball game here at PNC Center. Geico has been offering savings for over 85 years. That's longer than the Buffalo Wings been around. <laughs> Lips are burning. <laughs> Geico. Over 85 years of savings and service. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. Can they handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental. Welcome to the smart choice in tires. It's bow time. Some folks say, don't call it a comeback. But when the sizzling, savory pork chop griller's back for a limited time in all its tender, marinated glory, go ahead, call it a comeback. It's bow time. major transit system with billions of passengers taking millions of trips every year. You weren't about to let any cyber attacks slow you down. So you partner with IBM to build a security architecture to keep your data, network, and applications protected. Now you can tackle threats so they don't bring you to a grinding halt. And everyone's going places, including you. Let's create cybersecurity that keeps your business on track. IBM, let's create. Because your lives are forever entwined. Love entwined. Shop K's last big sale of the year and save on everything. Only at K. Comeback trail, what's been happening here tonight? Made 10-0 runny. I mean 11-0 runny about Farmer. Just 
He's just done a heck of a job. I mean, he's a space floor, floor spacing big. He shoots three to the top of the key, but now they're getting into their half court sets. They're they're getting the backdoor cuts. The state did a great job of denying early on, and now they're getting threes. They're just getting a mixture of everything, and now they're also turning NC State over like this. They are five turnovers now for NC State. A three ball here by Pagese. NC State possession. Pagese has already hit three threes tonight. He's now three of six on the outside. And what a game of runs that we've had here. Yeah. It was really NC State with the first two big ones of this game. <laughs> yeah, they ran, started out with a 10 0 run early, then an 11 0 run to get up by 15. And since then, Firm has closed out with 11 0 run. Clark for three. That's Jack Clark, transfer out of LaSalle. And he knocks it down. He's got five. Great sign for, for NC State for him to get going as well. I mean, he struggled from behind a three point line early. Went, slings it right back to Slauson, who's wide open for three, and that's off the back rim. Heen was battling for it instead of NC State, and Morcel, and it's going to be Joyner to bring it up. As long as DJ Burns is in on the defensive end, they're going to get that shot on a pick, ball screen, pick and pop all night long. It's just up to Slauson or Heen and knock it down. Smith, long three. I think those are the shots that Smith can do a, just a little better job. He's such an explosive score and he gets it easy, but those are the shots that you'd like to see just get a little bit more offense out of and sure. be a little bit better high percentage shot. You can probably get that one anytime. Yeah, anytime. you can take that anytime right. in the game. And the team's in a you know in a little bit of run now. You want you don't want to keep the run going by taking shots like that. That's wet. Carter Witt comes in, shot fake, gets to a spot. Okay, and that's four points for him. I mean, again, anything come, production coming off the bench. I mean, he's a confident kid. He's mm -hmm. kids played in this league before. He's, he's played in this gym before. So don't expect any back down from him. Six point game here. First half coming up on six minutes remaining. Smith trying to feed it inside to Burns. He got it back. <laughs> that worked out. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Just a heck of a deflection there. Then he just continues to play. And that's what scorers do. The ball just finds you when you. Such a natural scorer like he is. Seven points for him. Slauson fakes on the three, gets by Burns. Going to call Burns for the foul. That'll be his first of the night. Quavian tried the little one-hand pass, and remember Slauson's defensive player of the year, but he tells him not so fast. I'm getting that back. Puts that in the bucket. How about the knowledge that Smith got when he put himself in for the NBA you know to get the information right you know for hey what am I going to be yeah. like here can I get to the next level they said you got to be able to try to create a little bit more for others right right well he's certainly doing that this season you look at some of the numbers right 67 assists last year he already has 61 so far this season I mean it's just an added piece I think not everybody takes that information in a positive manner sometimes kids come back and they try to overdo things you know it, it's it's always great to be unselfish He's got an assist tonight, so 62 on the season. Now he gets a steal, or Joyner does anyhow. Here comes Joyner. What's that? Blocking foul is Brian O'Connell. As that was Ben Vanderwall who tried to take the charge, the freshman for Furman. I think Vanderwall was in a no charge zone area. I think he probably had his feet underneath the rim. Mm -hmm. Got to go vertical when you're there. You can't just, you know, if you're inside that, that, that circle there, you got to. You can go vertical in this contact, but you can't have your feet planted. There'll be an automatic block every time like that was. This is what I talked to Jaquel Joyner about today. When you want to get yourself going, get to the free throw line. And I know for him, it's just a, you're a scorer like he is. Getting yourself to the free throw line is a big deal. He's got him retreating like that. Gets up under him. Yeah, he's on the line. The, uh, yeah, he's in no draw drop. Yep. Great call. Great job by joining just. You're backing up that way Any offensively. You just got to attack a guy. He's kind of guessing what direction you're going to go. At that speed, it's just a difficult thing to get in front of the ball. One of the verbal leaders with this team. Mature player. Kind of can put the weight on his shoulders. He says he's always talking to the guys all the time. Helps lead some of the workouts. Yeah, he's the leader of this guy. I mean, he's every team needs a guy like that. He's essentially a coach on the floor. Works hard. In the gym constantly. Look at this. Almost knocks it away. Bothwell recovers. Trying to force it to the corner. It's intercepted by his backcourt mate, Smith. And Joyner tracks it down. This is where NC State in a half court set. What are you going to do now? You don't. They're a ball screen motion team. 
Thomas kicks it. Joiner for three. And a foul on the rebound as it was hauled in by Ebenezer Duwana. Duwana's going to come in and, you know, he's the one that's going to benefit from the injury early. He's got to come out and it's not going to give you the offensive production, but he can screen, he can roll to the basket, and he can also go to the offensive glass, which he did there. And that's rewarded for that by getting to the free throw line. Call me B. Junior from Ghana. Credit to him just mm -hmm. being a team player. He didn't play much. He didn't play at all early. And then now he's right. kind of he's, he's right in the rotation. And he's a guy that was a starter in, in, in the past. And credit to him for just keeping himself mentally ready. One and one. And that's the front half. This is ninth game of the season. Average is only about three minutes a game. But yeah. yeah, starting to get more into the max. It's great when you keep yourself ready to go. Slauson steps into a three, and he's been a little off from the outside tonight, and that ball is knocked out of bounds off of Thomas of NC State. But it's difficult for NC State to switch that unless they put a lineup out there, and I think they will at times, and they'll switch off five. That shot will be there all night, so there's no reason to rush. And, and guarding Slauson, you got to leave him out there until he makes a couple before you run out there or go for the shot. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean he's still looking for his first points, Randolph. He's yeah. over three from the field. He averages 15 and a half a game. He does. I mean, he's all so calm first time, first teamer, and he's, he's a heck of a player. I mean, he does it on both ends, so he's a guy that spends a ton of energy on the defensive end as well, but he's more comfortable facing the basket and driving than he is yes. behind the arc. He's now 7 of 26 from three-point range on the season, so a good point that you made there. Here's a foul called as Bothwell took it in. Thanks on Greg Gant there. Just didn't keep the ball in front. And great job getting in front. Bothwell getting to that left hand and getting the angle and drawing the foul. Bothwell got off to a slow start, but it's, you know, it's amazing what you can do when you're struggling from the field, getting, in, getting yourself to the, to the free throw line here. Bothwell averages a team best 20.3 points a game. And that's the one two combination there with Slauson. He's got four so far here tonight. Arguably the best player in the SOCON. And they'll stay at four points. The annual ACC huddle preview special tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Right here on the ACC Network and the ESPN app. Jordan Cornett, Eric McLean, E.J. Manuel, Mark Rick. They'll take a look at the nine ACC teams playing in a bowl game and the breakdowns, comprehensive analysis, all that and more coming up on Wednesday night, tomorrow night, 6 o'clock on the ACC Network. ACC has sent at least nine teams to a bowl every year since 2016. It's been so much slander about the conference play. Their league has been good, and it's been good for a long time. NC State's in there playing Maryland in the Duke's Mayo Bowl. That's on December 30th at noon Eastern on ESPN. Joiner got it. That's such a difficult shot driving to his left. And another quick turnover here. On the steal, blocked from behind by Slauson, but NC State with Gant gets it back. And Joiner lost it. Vanderwall throws it away. The hot potato, nobody oh, wants it. Here. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, they play up tempo, yes. right? I mean, yes. you're gonna. I guess you got to kind of live with some of this. That's the drawback of playing it at this pace. L.J. Thomas scores it. Four for him. 37 to 24. All of a sudden, Wolfpack has it back up to 13. Now the Wolfpack lineups on the floor now wants to switch everything. So this is where Clau Slauson needs to get inside in the post and do damage in the post. Great job. Didn't see the double team coming. What a clamp down. They take it away from Slauson. 12 turnovers now in the night. And speaking of which, goes right back to Bothwell. Oh, there's Slauson's first points. They want to run off turnovers. That's what they want to do. Great pass and assist there by the two first team. Also, calm players. That's seven turnovers for NC State. Now a three from Smith. It's so easy just to be able to give your best, your best offensive weapon the ball and just say, hey, go get me a bucket. Time out here, coaches want to settle both teams down. May look at Bothwell coming down, noticing his big running the wing, goes up top for him. Nice dunk and finish by the big fella here. Looking like you back in the day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Vermont High School basketball. There you go. <laughs> 
Geico has been offering savings for over 85 years. That's longer than the buffalo wings been around. <laughs> Lips are burning. <laughs> Geico. Over 85 years of savings and service. Who says you can't afford a holiday like this? New gifts are always arriving. So there's still time to gift to the max. I came across this thing, and I would love to know more about it. This could be an authentic Detroit-style deep dish pizza from Little Caesars in Detroit. It appears to have the thickness. Thickness. Caramelized crispy cheese edges. Soft, chewy center. It's the real deal. How much do you think I could get for it? $100,000. <laughs> No, it's $8.99, and it's Detroit-style deep dish that's actually from Detroit. Pizza, pizza. This is your Mazda moment at Keffer Mazda. We have quality vehicles arriving daily. Even if you don't see what you're looking for, we make it easy to buy or reserve your new Keffer Mazda today. Trade in or trade up. We'll give you more than ever before, even if you don't buy one of ours. Shop more new Mazda models and get more for your trade. Upgrade today. The experience you deserve, the price you'll love. The all-new Keffer Mazda. Former NC State great. Now the Brooklyn Nets. T.J. Warren in the house here tonight. Oh man, I don't know if I'm happy to see him as many buckets as he gave me on the other sideline. Man, was he a tough cover? Just an unbelievable player and a 2014 ACC Player of the Year and having a great NBA career in his ninth year. Coming back to support his Wolfpack. Mm -hmm. Always great to see that. I know they're happy to have one of their alums back in the building. Such a great one. How about a couple players here in this one that have the uh, potential for the next level as well? Taquavion Smith has been, been scoring this from the jump. I mean, 10 quick points for him and two steals. And Bothwell started out slow, but he's picked it up with five points and two assists and two steals himself in the last couple of minutes here. All right, what's Furman going to do here? They're down by 14. Been in danger zone a couple of times tonight. Just got to keep running their stuff. They're going to get looks. They just got to take it. One thing is stop turning the basketball over. They're getting good looks yeah, well. like that. That's the problem. Well, you said it. And Smith capitalizes. You don't want that guy coming at you with numbers advantage. You just don't know what he's going to do. You don't want to give a guy like a scorer like him easy buckets yeah. like that. But again, another 13th turnover for Furman already this first half. And they the average 12.7 a game. Yeah. So they're already over that here in the first half. But this game is being paid, played now at the pace that NC State wants to play. Just more of a ragtag up and down. Because pressure affects you in multiple ways. If you're not turning it over and taking quick shots, if you were to add the quick shots that Furman has taken, then those turnovers might be 15 or 16 or 17 already. We got eight turnovers on the other side for NC State, but they have a 16 point lead here as we come up in a minute and a half to play. Bothwell, Heen, no, Bothwell, no. And how good has LJ Thomas been tonight? Got numbers, watch your head. Smith. <laughs> he grabbed it, he gathered himself on that one. I thought he was thought he was gonna catch and finish, but again, great look, great pass by two of the two backcourt mates there. This is the largest lead of the night for NC State. Foster for three, big one. They needed it. It's a quick shot. 
But again, Foster made it that time. Again, it's just it's just part of their offense. And you don't have to rush it out. Plenty of time to get back in the game. But again, I think that's, again, defensively is where NC State is effective for Emma right now. When they're not turning it over, force them into one pass and a quick shot. Well, and Foster's finally in the scoring column. That's his first bucket of the night after being 0 for 5 from the field. Here is Thomas for 3. Got it. Got the bounce. Got the shooter's touch there. Got the corner three. Great pass by Burns. I mean, he's done a really good job of catching it at that mid post and that rolling in the short post the, off the ball screen and just firing it to the weak side. Seven points, three rebounds, couple steals for Thomas. It's just nine minutes of action so far here in the first half. Very productive. Ten seconds left. Another takeaway. Joyner. And he'll head to the free throw line with 2.1 seconds left. Great job there. I know Joyner wanted to finish that off. Great steal. Pushing it and cutting off the angle. Drawing the foul on Foster. Mm -hmm. What an end to this first half here for NC State. They've hit five of the last five from the field. The foul on Foster, his second for Furman. And here's Joyner. Has a chance to push this lead up to 20 before the break. Joyner hasn't shot it great. He's only one of four from the field, but again, he's attempted his sixth free throw and just great job by him getting this up. Oh, look at this. Almost a tip in by Smith at the end of the first half. So Wolfpack will settle for a 19 point lead. How about that? Hey, big, big, big half by State. 14 turnovers the first half. That's been a theme of the day. But playing the game at their pace. Got to be happy with that. Really impressed with Aquavian Smith. Just doing what he does. Just a buck sometimes. But if you get this group at you, turning it over and get everyone involved in, in the transition, then you got a, you got a difficult task ahead. Now, Furman can get on a run. They did yes. in the first half. They yes. went on an 11-0 run. However, it was a 16-point lead by NC State at the time, so they, they got back within five. You know, that's, it's, it's a lot here, but you know they can, they can get on a run. they got to get solid on the defensive end. As here's a foul as Morcell takes it in and begin the second half. I think it's a conscientious effort by NC State to get Morcell going. I mean, he got he hit shots early in the first half, and now they come out running their first play for him in the second half when he draws the foul on Carter Witt. But for Furman to get back into this game, they want to play at a pace, but there's a different style. State wants to play 94 feet. Furman will run off turnovers, but they want to play with pace in their half-court movement in their sets, and they're going to need a center. They're going to need Keen, or they're going to need Slauson to knock down threes. Burns is not coming out to the three point line and they're going to put him in ball screen to try to get things going. But got to do it on the defensive end if they want to make a run and dent this 20 point lead. Third foul is on wet as you said it's now a 21 point lead for NC State. You mentioned Slauson as well too. He's just got the two points. One of four from the field. He does have five rebounds. There's wet get to the Slauson. NC State picked up full court pressure there trying to deliver a knockout below here. They're up 20. But when it breaks down, they're going to put Burns in ball screens. Whip. Five to shoot. Pegues. Tough one over Morsell. He's got it. And up to Smith. Alley-oop time. Oh, the block. Coming back. Slossing up. The chase time. down block. Not giving up on a play. Block Joiner and right back the other way is wet. So solid defensive play that turns into a two for Furman. That's the second time Schlossen's done that. I mean, just those are big possessions. You got numbers and those are four point swings. He's done that twice tonight. And again, it's twice player of the year in, in SOCON. I mean, just a tremendous effort by him. Just over a minute into the second half. Morcell, good luck for another three. He's feeling it tonight. That looked good when it left his hands. He shot it right at an angle. I'm looking at the basket. It never left the middle of the basket. Just guys in a rhythm. I mean, it's just he, it's what he's doing right now. He's so confident. Looks good when he leaves his hand. I, you know, he believes it's like going in when he shoots it. We had the perfect view from behind, right? As you saw yeah. it. Yeah. He's four of six in three-point range tonight. Play he just made before that on the defensive end is just great. I think he has defensive player of the year capability. He guards the best perimeter guy on the other team. And when you combine that three and D the way he's shooting the basketball, you got yourself a heck of a player. And he's actually on pace right now for a 50, 40, 90 type of season. And wow. it's just not easy to do. <laughs> Foul was on Joyner, his second for NC State, and Furman gets it in the Heen, who's got six.
Furman's got to do it on this end of the floor. He's got to keep the ball out of the paint. Smith gets double team, finds Burns. Wow. This great roll by Burns, catching it. Great pass by Tokraven Smith. Yeah, I mean, that's his recognition, right? You know, he didn't have it. He got double team. Now he's running the break and gets it to join it. Another turnover, another transition basket. Just the theme of the day here for Firm, and they just turned the basketball over. And this is credit to NC State. This is the way they want to play. Well, and coming off that game at Miami, it's a very tough Miami team. Lost 80 to 73. You know, you knew they'd be ready for this. And they've come out strong. Big three on the way. He checked. Play he and Smith. He checked. Just an explosive score. I think he's as great a scorer as there is in this conference right now. He's just he's in a rhythm right now. Heck of a player. Smith and Morcel both have 17, and it's a 27-point lead for the Wolfpack. With the award-winning Geico mobile app, our Bill customer has joined the call. Hey, Bill, we're just. Hi, guys. Uh, do we have Julia on the line too? Okay. Hey, well, we'll, we'll, sorry. Okay. We'll. we'll, we'll you, uh, um, right, the award-winning Geico app. There's never been a better time to get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Lease a 2023 Tucson for just $2.59 a month or get 0% APR plus 500 bonus cash. Visit buyhyundai.com today. It's bow time. <laughs> Some folks say don't call it a comeback, but when the sizzling, savory pork chop griller's back for a limited time in all its tender, marinated glory, go ahead, call it a comeback. It's bow time. Looking for the perfect gift for the one you love? The Diamonds Direct gift guide is here to help. Find a stunning array of wedding and anniversary bands, diamond fashion, gemstone jewelry, classic diamond studs, tennis bracelets, and more. With Diamonds Direct's unmatched selection, you are sure to find the perfect gift to celebrate the one you love. Plus, enjoy our lifetime warranty included with each purchase that will keep your gift sparkling for years to come. Make an in-person appointment or browse our gift guide online at diamondsdirect.com. work out you came to our work let's get it yo boom come on you got this every day man's on the hey no challenge no change the team goes let's go get four hundred dollars off peloton packages terms apply You do what feels right, then own your style. Phillips One Blade. Your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. It's been a 12 to 4 run to start the second half for NC State and Bob Ritchie and Furman here in the home of the Wolfpack and also the Carolina Hurricanes of the NHL. And he's done almost a line change here. He's got the only starter in, Marcus Foster. Number four, Ben Vanderwall is in. Number 12, Johnny Lawrence. Number 15, Tyrese Huey. And number 24, Alex Williams, all from off the bench. See if that can spark the Paladins here. He's sending a message to his team. I mean, he got seven turnovers out of his two point guards combined, and his two best players have six so that's 13 of their 15 turnovers he's sending a message to his group right now anybody can play if you take care of the basketball and they have not been able to do that but Jack Clark to a tonight. wide open set dumped that with the left hand yeah. just a lot of over dribbling and that's not the way Furman tends to play 
I think that's what's getting them in trouble. They're turning it back on the defense. And again, credit to NC State. They've gotten up. They pressured the ball. They used their athleticism, their speed, their length. And it's bothered for him. That was Alex Williams who scored, and he's just trying to get back into the mix a little bit, too. I mean, he yes. didn't miss the first six games of the team rules violation, so it's only his fifth game of the season. He's only averaged about eight minutes a game, so they need his services. You get down in games like this, and you tend to think it's over, but it's incredibly important. You can't tell that guy the game's over, because as long as there's time on the score, He's looking to get a bucket. That's 20 for him tonight. It doesn't matter. No. Shot clock is winding down now. Williams comes back with a three of his own. I mean, it's just a gift to score. It just comes easy to him. The key for him is just taking good shots because you got to guard him in the parking lot. This matchup isn't going to work. Again. <laughs> just missed. <laughs> That's a difficult matchup. Now a three ball from Huey. That's. Well off and into the hands of Joyner. He's got Smith in the corner. Good rotation. More sell. He's been real money from that shot here tonight. He's four of seven now from three point range. Smith is four of six. I've said he's AC, early ACC player of the year candidate, but Tarquavian Smith just giving it to you how you want. Get down on the break. Finishing ducking that with the left. Just a heck of a performance so far with his range. NC State up 27 in the PNC Center. Go down! Okay. There's never been a better time to get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Lease a 2023 Tucson for just $2.59 a month. Or get 0% APR plus 500 bonus cash. Visit buyhyundai.com today. It's bow time. Some folks say don't call it a comeback. But when the sizzling, savory pork chop griller's back for a limited time in all its tender, marinated glory, go ahead, call it a comeback. It's bow time. Let me stand next to your fire. Hey, let me stand next to your fire. Bleu de Chanel, eau de parfum. Pacifico is a crisp golden lager. Brewed for those who know, it's what's behind a label that matters. What if you were a gigantic snack food maker and you had to wrestle a massively complex supply chain to satisfy cravings from Tokyo to Toledo? So you partner with IBM Consulting to bring together data and workflow so that every driver and merchandiser can serve up jalapeno, sesame, and chocolate-covered goodness with real-time data-driven precision. Let's create. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Phillips One Blade. Your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. Furman's going to be challenging in the SoCon. They almost got to the NCAA tournament last year. SoCon championship game. You were there, Randolph. You called it. One of the best games I've seen all year. I think it was the best game of champ week. I mean, just a buzzer beater there. I think I lost my voice for maybe three days after that game. I mean, an unbelievable game. The intensity those guys played with. And I was just so disappointed and hurt for Furman. They were just so deserving of getting there. But it's a one-bit league, and whoever wins it gets to the tournament. And Tennessee Chattanooga won it last year, and Firm is the preseason number one team in SoCon to win it this year. That's a goal 10. You know, and Bob Ritchie, who's been with this program now for 12 years, six as an assistant, six as the head coach, 22 wins last year. They had back to back 25 win seasons in 2019 and 2020, and, you know, four straight 20 plus win seasons for the first time in school history. I mean, they've got this thing on the rise. A credit to him and the man that he is and the coach that he is because I can assure you Mike Bothwell had play, hit options last year had he went to portal. Mm -hmm. You know <laughs> Jalen Slauson had options had he gone in the portal and when you keep those players particularly at a mid-major program 
things are going to go well for you and you're going to win games. And that's the point we have to make with this Furman team. High academic institution yes. and Coach Ritchie has prided himself in his staff with the development. Yes. The retention, yes. right? The players building a team and kind of doing it the right way with sustainability. He's only got one transfer on the team. And that's Carter Witt from Wake Forest. And as you said, a preseason favorite. Uh, the last second shot away from being in the NCAA tournament last year and a chance to go there again this year. And you're adding that a, a transfer from a high academic institution like Wake Forest. And so he, he's winning and I think they'll be right there. They're, they're the first place team in SOCOM and I believe they'll they'll finish it out this year. He's just a heck of a coach and we all know what the coaches from that league have done in the past. They are attending to Morsell over on the sideline as you saw there for NC State left leg. And I'll try to shake it off. So if he's all right. We'll see if he gets back in. But of course 25 point lead here and Smith bombing up another three. Another offensive rebound and that's in and out this time. From Breon pass. Breon pass is a sophomore guard there that they're expecting big things out of. I mean to, to make it that big jump from that freshman to sophomore year jump from Breon. Pass now defending the post tough matchup there with Tyrese Huey. You know and, and pass who's really best friends with Tarquavi and Smith that came in together. And pass is actually a four star football recruit coming yes. out of high school. He's a great football player. Chose one to play basketball and to come here to NC State. He's been practicing really well. I think they're, they're really high on him. Just give it some time. You know, no rush. It's hard to find your rhythm with guys. And he's playing with two dynamic guards. And then LJ Thomas kind of comes in. And he's kind of that other guard kind of getting in there right now. So it's just difficult to find your path with so many good players. But he's, coach and staff is high on him. And you're in a good system here right under yeah. coach Kevin Keats yes. who wants to play a lot of guys because you're going to run out there you're going to go after yeah. teams and he's going to go sometimes nine and ten deep. He's going to let you play just ask our Quavian Smith. He's going to let you get out there and take shots. Saturday coming up on the ACC Network and the ESPN app college basketball doubleheader. We got Pitt hosting North Florida then Syracuse and Cornell. That's a three all right here on the network and on the ESPN app. Twenty one points now. I mean he's just a scorer. That's what he does. You got to continue to allow him to do what he does. If you're... Great job from the bench now. They get some life out of the bench and just a statement by Coach Richie there just sitting his starters and other guys are starting to implement them back into the game and he wants to see a run here by his group. Here's pass for three. That's no good. And on the run is Foster. After knocking down the three ball and now. NC State settled for some quick threes on this end. Not running a lot of offense and you get up big. The tendency is to relax a little bit and got to keep your foot on the gas a little bit here and continue to pressure the ball, continue to take open looks and playing against a team like Furman. There's no shot block on the field. You like to see them more attacking from the paint before they start shooting three point shots. Can't doing a really good job of overplaying that high post and switching. Bothwell back to Foster as Thomas is all over him. He puts up a three anyhow. And skying for the rebound, Ernest Ross. It's a great defensive possession there by State, allowing him to get out and run. Pass takes it in. That layup happened because of the great defense, keeping the ball in front, pressure the basketball. Three ball, Healy. Foul going the other way. It's on Furman. What about the rest of the ACC here this season? Middle November. What do we got? You know, the big storyline. I, I, I think Miami's continue to roll. I think Virginia Tech surprised a lot of people as expected. Freshman of Duke. I called that game and they started five freshmen. That's the first time as any of the great freshmen they had. They started five and I don't think the sky is falling in North Carolina. I think they got off to a slow start. I think they'll fix that over this fall break and Christmas break. And I think you'll see that team start to resemble what we saw in the second half of last year. Yeah, I mean, how can you be worried about you no. see right now, right? No. I mean, they weren't even thought about no. it right last year, and then they go play for the title and then you know now all the pressure's on right? yeah. because they're like, whoa, what's wrong? Like the victim of their own success at times. Yeah. Those guys will figure it out. I think the bigger question for the ACC is who's going to be the team to take the next step and, and, and surprise people and be the wake force of last year this current season. Thomas scores it might be looking at one right here tonight don't you think I think so I think if NC State defends at this level and as they get bodies and get healthy 
they could be a team to take that jump. I'm really impressed with, the, with them on the defensive end. I mean, think about it this season. Here's a steal. Him. Pass. Great pass. Feeds it. Oh, and missing the dunk that time is Greg Gant. They're continuing to guard. I mean, this has to be a staple. With oh, Vanderwall count the basket. Chance for the three-point play when we come back. But it's NC State by 25 here at home tonight. Well on their way to their ninth win of the season. Welcome to the neighborhood. Now, did you know that Geico could help with your homeowner's insurance? Hmm. Cookies. Oh, it's my mum's secret recipe. Is that a little nutmeg in there? It's a secret. Is it cinnamon? It's my mum's secret recipe. Geico. The getaway sales event is going on now at the all-new South Charlotte Hyundai. When the weather gets colder, the deals get hotter. With leases on Hyundai starting as low as $219 a month, you're not going to want to miss out. We have over 200 new Hyundais available right now, ready for you to drive home today. Each new vehicle comes with America's best warranty, plus three years of complimentary Hyundai maintenance with Hyundai Assurance. A grand opening, a grand sales event, and a grand selection of vehicles. All of this going on now at the all-new South Charlotte Hyundai. It's bow time. This holiday season, put a bow on it with a big bow box for your family, friends, and neighbors. Because nothing says seasonings greetings like boldly seasoned chicken, fixins, and biscuits. Tonight, order a big bow box and spend less time in the kitchen. It's bow time. Back to work? Back to work? We've all got work worries. <laughs> They're annoying little things that never leave us alone. <laughs> Deadlines. Even at work. But you can get them under control. Asana makes work easier for your team, so you can focus on all the things that matter instead of just worrying about work. Make work work for you with Asana. We must go beyond the edge of our world. This month, searching for it is dangerous. Run! No matter where you go. That's a new record, everyone. <laughs> around the corner. This is cooler than any room I've ever seen. Or around the world. You'll feel right at home. Oh my God. Here on Disney Plus. Always go out in a blaze of glory. Say you're looking for the perfect present. You might try looking at the perfect place. A place with gifts that light up a face as well as a room where it's easy to find the brands they'll love and the advice you trust. That place is your local Ace. Around the block, what you need in stock with people who know their gifts. Get our best price ever by saving $180 on a Weber Genesis 2. And Ace Rewards members get free assembly and delivery on new grills. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. This ring is a commitment. After we got married, I got very sick. He will come every day to help me walk again. And now I'm back. This is a reminder that love endures all. Express your extraordinary love. So you got to go way back. It was former NC State coach Everett Case credited with starting the nut, nut cutting tradition, net cutting tradition in college basketball. He did it first after winning the SoCon championship back in 1947. You know, and how about some of the uh, SOCON championship winning coaches and, and where they are today. Just a credit to this league. I mean, you saw Mike Young. Is, there's not a better coach in college basketball than Mike Young and the job that Steve Forbes is doing down at Wake Forest and Wes Miller and <laughs> Lamont Paris and, and Bob Ritchie will be the next one, I believe, after this season. And just a credit to, this, to that league and the coaching at that league. And I think a lot of athletes figure that out, too, when they get down and they think it's just a lot easier. And, and I use Carter Witt as an example, a guy that transfers from the ACC down to that league, and you're not starting right away. You got to figure it out. You get down there and realize there's players, and that league is tough. And and and, and you see by the power five coaches that come from that league how well respected that league is. And it's great coaching. The net cutting tradition, not to be confused with the nut cutting tradition, as I was trying to say, <laughs> whatever the heck I was trying to say. You know, and, and I just watched uh, Survive in Advance again the other night, you know, which was just awesome. And, you know, we just had Jimmy V Week here on uh, ESPN. And uh, there was one practice, you know, that Coach V said every year that he just had one practice where all we did was practice cutting the nets down, you know, and I just, 
thought it was unbelievable because obviously they won it and you just got it in your players minds like this is what we're going to do we got to practice doing what you want to achieve and they did it I just love that story and everything that that 1983 team did I mean you go back and you're talking about even uh, Lynn Elmore text me the other day and, and got on me to remind him because someone talked about how good the league was back during the time that I played and he said hey you know it was still a one big lead back when I first started so it just gives you a tremendous amount of respect of how far collegiate athletics has come and how difficult it was because when you're in a power five conference you don't think of it as as a one bit league but right back in those days it was right that's that's crazy Over the top pass inside swung back out to Bothwell bombs up a three no good rebound Pegues many of the starters are back in Bothwell again off the back iron Joiner's got it two good looks can't complain about that from your lead score. It's out of bounds to Furman. Joyner lost his footing there and he got inside. And you'd like for him again to kind of settle down and play off two feet off. I got a chance to talk to him at shoot around today. He's just a special, special person and so well deserving of the success. Love to hear the story about him and his dad and how close they are as well. He's got the basket and the foul. Bothwell. No quitting his team. Bothwell getting out of the lane. He's a big physical guard. He's a 20 point a game score for a reason. And gets in the paint, uses that strong body, and finishes with the right hand. Tough lay for a lefty. Thomas with a foul. Great minutes from NC State. LJ Thomas, I mean, double figures from the bench. He's got four steals. I mean, just. Keeps talking to both of his young guards, him, Brian, Pat, and Brian. Those guys are just they're going to be a big part of NC State basketball going forward. You're going to need those guys going through the rest of the year. You mentioned the D here for State. I mean, that's been the story. Give them a ton of credit because Bothwell's got only eight points. He averages 20, right? And then how about Slauson? It is the story. Yeah. I mean, when NC State defends like this, they can beat anybody in the ACC. They're going to score. They play a style. They give their guys freedom. Keats wants his guys defending. He'll let you play on the offensive end. And he'll dial you back and start taking, you know, if you take a bad shot or two. But he lets his guys play on the offensive end. But he wants to defend. Slauson, the second leading scorer for Furman with 15 and a half a game. He's got only two. Their length and athleticism has bothered him some. And having to tussle with Burns inside is giving him some trouble. Bruce Slauson, he lost the handle, got it back. There's three seconds to shoot. Now in the corner, it's Huey, and he hits a three. No give up there. Great job by Slauson to recover from that. And Brian Tyrese Huey. 20 point game here. Uh, Casey Morsell back in, number 14 for NC State. Shaking up a little bit earlier, and that left leg looks to be okay here. NC State needs have. to get their half court execution going here. And now you're trying to run some half court sets, you got to play. You can't just come down and you're not forcing turnover. This is the next step for this team. And here's Morsell. Let's get the bounce. Let's get the bounce with a good shot. Penetration, kick to the corner three. You like that execution there, but they got to do a better job of taking the next step of executing in the half court set. Inside, and Furman scores it. Vanderwall and a timeout. Kevin Keats and NC State. Their lead is down to 18. Still plenty of time left in this game to play. Timeout, 9 14 remaining. Wolfpack still in command. We're back in 30 seconds. Geico has been offering savings for over 85 years. That's longer than the buffalo wing's been around. <laughs> Lips are burning. <laughs> Geico, over 85 years of savings and service. It's bow time. Some folks say, don't call it a comeback. But when the sizzling, savory pork chop griller's back for a limited time in all its tender, marinated glory, go ahead, call it a comeback. It's bow time. It's an 8-0 run here for Furman. NC State still leads it by 18. You mentioned Joyner's father, Stacy, and how important he's been. He told us today he's his role model, he's his best friend, sends some you know, motivational text every day. They talk every day, all the time. His father owns a barber shop. He said he's one of the hardest workers he knows. Gets up 4 or 5 in the morning, gets to the business. And uh, I know he's so proud of what Jarkel Joyner has done throughout his career. What a great relationship those two have. It's special. You know, you love to see it. When he talked about it, you could tell there's nothing 
his, his eyes light up. There's nothing better than a young man talking about how proud he is of his father. And credit to Stacy. You know, that's admirable uh -huh. to Joyner. watch guys like that. He swings it to Clark, who takes it in, and Jack Clark scores it. Remember watching Clark for many years at LaSalle, and he's found yeah. a nice home here at NC State. He fits with Carolina, I mean, what NC State does. I mean, they just, it's that 6 8 wing that can stretch the defense, ball skills, guard the ball. Just a seamless transition for him. Well, he doesn't have to do it all, right? No. I mean, he was kind of one of their main guys here. It's like, hey, you can step it down a little. We'll take your eight to 10 points a yes. game and, and good team basketball. Well, I think it's freed everyone up. when you embrace the role, I think that's why Casey Morsell numbers are through the roof. Because you got those two guys. You got Jock Hill joining, you got Tuckwavy and Smith. They're such lethal wall offensive players, they're making the game easy for everyone else. So just do your part, accept your role, and this team could be successful. Three ball. Up and in by Slauson. He has not had the night he's wanted. He's only got five points. His first made three of the night. It's a 17-point game. Hang on here. Eight minutes remaining, and Furman gets a steal. We talked about the half-court offense there. It's, it's so hard when you get up big to continue that intensity. That's the next step for this club. And there's no quitting this Furman team. They're going to continue to play. Slauson goes to work and couldn't get the little runner there. Clark the other way. Finishes and a foul. That is big. That really puts the hurt back on the other way and has a chance to push this back up to 20. Great effort by NC State. Continue to turn up the pressure. Another hand won by Clark. NC State still up 19 early. Let's be real. Your ears are gross. Yeah, you heard me right. And let me guess, you're cleaning them with these. You need to be using whoosh. Trust me, no one wants to tell you how gross your ears look. The triple stream safely clears dirt and wax buildup, but all you really need to know, it feels incredible. Whoosh by Black Wolf. Get 15% off and free shipping at trywoosh.com. Yeah, here we go. Here's to going further. Here's to a little recharge. And this, this battery lasts for days. Something special. Here's to you. Thank you. And here's to me. When you get a chip in your windshield, Trust Safe Life. This couple was headed to the farmer's market. When they got a chip, they drove to Safe Life for a same day repair. And with their insurance, it was no cost to them. That service the way you need it. Safe Life Repair, Safe Life Replace. We start with 255 time. And by the time we get done, we have one winner. Are you being audited and do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Is the IRS threatening to take more of your money? Don't fight the IRS alone. The Tax Doctor is here to help you negotiate your tax bill and reduce your stress. The IRS can freeze your assets and seize your bank accounts, but you can stop these IRS actions. The Tax Doctor will work with you using our years of experience to represent your case to help you get the best resolution under the IRS guidelines. Help is here to deal with the IRS to reduce your stress. We've handled thousands of cases, so we know what we're doing. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, do not call the IRS alone. Call a Tax Doctor now for a tax emergency analysis. Kevin Keats and the Wolfpack, this is what they do, right? Force turnovers, nice job here, 17 tonight. I mean, it's a big part of the offense. They wanted to get back into doing that. I mean, they if they have an Achilles heels or struggling in the half court, they, they've even worked on that tonight. But again, 
scored 19 points off turnovers, which is the biggest difference in the game. I mean, they average, you know, nine steals a game, and they got 15 tonight, and that leads the league, and that's their recipe for success. They want to continue to do that. Done a great job of that tonight. The reason they've got this big lead, converted them into points. And Season high is 17 steals in a game this year. The school record is 20. Yeah. And you see the number there, 5-0, and oh, it's forcing 15 or more turnovers. So, once again, the case tonight. 17 for Furman. Their season high in turnovers for Furman is 20 versus South Carolina State. So that's the second most they've had all season in this game here. We still have 7.33 to go. And that's a tough cover when you do that with this type of length and size and athleticism playing in a team like NC State. And they want to play in that game. And, it, and, and when you factor in not just the... The, the turnovers, just the quick shots that you're taking. McGeese is fouled by Tequavian Smith. That's his second of the night. And you said this before, too, and how deep NC State goes and how much they play as a team. Seven players, Randolph, have a steal in this game tonight. Well, they're doing it on the defensive end is what you want. That's a big, a big factor for this team because we know where the shots are going to come from. Look at this, another one. Another turnover here. Ross. And this is the way NC State plays. They're going to get steals, try to get threes up in transition. So. Now eight players have a steal as Ross got that last one. So eight different players have a steal tonight for NC State. Furman back the other way. Easy bucket inside. Huey. Furman, if you're Furman now, you got to extend your pressure. You know, with six and a half minutes left in this game, you're down 18. Almost a steal. She State does a great job breaking the press and then getting out. Slauson guarding Smith. I think they're just going to run an ISO for him. Smith powers his way in. A little short, and then he climbs over the top of Slauson. Let's hope Smith is all right. He hit the deck hard. I think he'll be fine. Catches off balance there, chases it. Ooh. Yeah. He braces himself. His hands hit the ground first. I don't think he hit it hard. I think he's probably a little more tired than anything. Got him well, I mean, 24 points right now. He's playing really good bats with 24 and 5. I mean. Well, the lead was up to 30. That's the thing. And Furman and Ross with a rejection. And it's going to be Wolfpack possession. I think he knocked it off the geese after the block. It's a great play. That right off his back. back. Of the yeah. yeah. Good call. Furman had that 11 0 run earlier tonight, but it was a 16 point lead at the time for NC State, so they had cut it to five. And the lead ballooned all the way up to 30 at 65 35. Wolfpack. And now here's a basket and a foul for Jarkel Joyner. Count it. Just a quick ball screen. Ross runs up, and again, Jarkel is so quick. Just changes speed so well. Open your hip up, expecting the ball screen. Doesn't come. He slipped out early, and he just goes. I mean, so much of their offense is just guarding Jaquel Joyner and Aquavian Smith one on one. I mean, you got to give those guys so much attention and you got to rotate help to help those guys. Joyner with 10 points tonight. Foul is on Huey, his second for Furman. The lead's up to 21. And you don't have a lot of time if you're Furman to run your typical offensive set, so you got to get them up quick like this. How about three pointers here tonight? Now eight of 27, 29%. And on the other end, a three goes in for Jack Clark. It's a great sign by him. I mean, just runs the lane hard, flattens out the defense, gets it, and knocks down a corner three. Jack Clark's got 13 points in this game here. Slowly climbing up and 12 of 28 are the Wolfpack from three point range at 43% in this one. Yeah, they're getting good looks and they're finding them in transition. They're really aggressive in transition off those. And you have five players in double figures here tonight. Just a well balanced attack team. Again, we know the two guys, but they're going to get balanced guys. When they're defending the ball, move, 
guys are going to score and I think that's what Keats is trying to get guys to buy into just defend at a high level let the ball find you on the offensive end. Smith leads all scores tonight with 24. As Lawson gets it inside hounded for the moment. We got Bothwell telling everyone to clear out and he takes it in and gets fouled. By Duana. What about with Burns right he's only played well, he's played 17 minutes tonight the big guy for NC State you know, now he's getting a little rest do you like that what do you got here with well, that's usually what he does he plays 20 minutes and before they wanted his 20 minutes to come off the bench but now with the injury you know the merch he's forced to start and so he just gets the same you know 18 to 20 minutes he's just getting him at the start of the first half the second half. Sunday women's basketball quadruple header starts at noon Eastern and noon it's Wake Forest and Syracuse and then we've got Louisville and Pittsburgh at two followed by number five Notre Dame number six Virginia Tech it's going to be a fun one and at six o'clock it's Clemson and NC State all right here on the ACC network and the ESPN app. We've got a 22 point lead here for the Wolfpack with five minutes to go in this contest. NC State averages 81 points a game they already have 85 Joiner. NC State's a difficult team to press as well because they got so many handlers. One through four, they all can initiate offense. And they're still flying around defensively. Pagese. Slauson. No good on the three. Solid box out by Morsell. And he got taken away. Slauson and he's fouled by Morso. Surprise Slauson making a good defensive play. He's just doing what he does. <laughs> Credit to him. No quitting him down 22. He's going to continue to play as long as he's in the game. Still a lot to learn early in this year. You're learning about yourself. You're learning about your team. If you hear the NC State yeah, they won chicken. I guess they you missed the two free throws during the second half. Get some chicken. I want yeah. some chicken too. Yeah. <laughs> chicken biscuit from uh, Chick fil A. Get us some Chick fil A. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start booing too. I want a Chick fil A sandwich. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tell them, guys. <laughs> All these promotions. Hey, you guys could be my dinner tonight. <laughs> 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 it's like you don't need that too. You're down 22 or 21. You know, I, know. I didn't say they had to score. I yeah. just wouldn't mind. A, I wouldn't mind a chicken sandwich as well. <laughs> Student section behind us. <laughs> yeah. Another foul here. And we're going the other way to shoot free throws. Let's talk this NC State team here, right? NCAA tournament first year under Keats. Yeah. They've been to two NITs. Of course, there was no tournament. In 2020, I mean, think about the 2019, right? I think their net was around 35, and yeah. they didn't get in yeah. to the tournament. So, I mean, over the last couple of years, right? I mean, you can kind of make a case for a lot of teams and all the struggles and things they've had to go through. I mean, you feel like, oh, it's a sick season, but it doesn't feel that way, right? I mean, it doesn't. I mean, it's such a weird deal because everyone, when you go through going through COVID the way everyone did, it just, you know, you have to factor that in and affect it has had on teams and programs and. It's just a lot more than just looking at it and saying, hey, he had done it since his first year. Like, navigating COVID was just difficult for everyone. Right. Well, and then let's think about all the changes now, right? With yes. the transfers and the NIL and all that. We can talk about that forever, but it's just, it, let's add all that into the mix, right? Yes. I mean, the game has changed drastically. Basket and a foul here, and it's good for Bothwell. And he'll have a chance for the three point play when we return. 3.51 to go in the contest. NC State 85, Furman 66. Go down! Okay, I'm an alien. If you're making a sci-fi movie, you need to finish the special effects. Does that look good? And if you want to save by bundling home and car insurance, you need Geico. Uh -oh. It's bow time. This holiday season, put a bow on it with a big bow box for your family, friends, and neighbors. Because nothing says seasonings greetings like boldly seasoned chicken, fixins, and biscuits. Tonight, order a big bow box and spend less time in the kitchen. It's bow time. There's never been a better time to get away. With a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. 
with America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Lease a 2023 Tucson for just $2.59 a month or get 0% APR plus 500 bonus cash. Visit buyhyundai.com today. What's more intimidating when it's time to pop the question than picking out an engagement ring? Hi, I'm Hadley Perry from Perry's Diamonds and Estate Jewelry. Perry's can help ease your mind and make the process easier and more pleasant with our selection of new and vintage engagement rings from a half carat to eight carats and 10 graduate gemologists on staff to help you find the perfect ring. Plus, our 12-month no-interest financing will make it easy to pay for as well. How can she say no when you present her a ring from Perry's? Carnegie Boulevard across from South Park Mall. Let's take a look at the net here, the NCAA evaluation tool and in the top 100. Eight teams right now in the ACC. Randall. I, I think the league's in a good place right now. There's some big wins. I mean, you even talk about Wake Forest with wins over Georgia and Pitt coming in here getting a win. And NC State, I think, is a team right there. And Miami is just tremendous. And I think Carolina's going to respond. They're going to get back. So the league is in a good place. And Virginia Tech. Duke and Virginia are as good as any team in the country right now. So a lot to be determined as we get into that conference play starting in the next couple of weeks. With this new, you know, metric, if you will, on the evaluation of teams come time for the NCAA tournament, yes. it makes it so important for you to take care of business in the yes. November and December games. Prior to that, remember how it wasn't such a big deal? Oh, this is the non-conference. We're getting ready for conference. No. No. You have to win no. these games Early. and then you got to hope the teams that you win or even potentially lose against have good seasons. Yes. So it helps your overall resume of where they finish, you know, to help your ranking. It has to be part of your scheduling right now. You have to understand the and, and knowing where you are in your program. If you're just getting started, then hey, you can kind of try to play easier games. But when you establish yourself and you have postseason ambitions, you have to play good teams. I mean, even if you're going to play a mid-major team, you got to play a team like this. I believe this team, Furman, think will be an NCAA team. I think they'll win the Southern Conference. They are favored to do it. I think you don't judge them by the night. This will be a good win. That's a good point. We've seen some amazing fans across the ACC, and now we need your help. This winter, ACC Network wants to experience each sport from your perspective. So snap a pic, take a video, tag it with a hashtag, all the devotion, and post it to your social. You just might see it on the ACC Network. And that's it. I mean, if you're NC State, you come away with a big, convincing win here tonight. To your point, to go up against a team that may win their conference yeah. and go to the NCAA tournament, that's going to be huge. And NC State have lost their two ACC games so far this year. So they need to find a way to get back on winning track, continue to get back and playing basketball the way that they want to play, force some turnovers and, and make it threes. And they've done both of those games tonight. He knocked down the three-pointer there for Furman and the assist from Pegues. One of the emotional leaders for this team has a lot of fun out there. They try to say we get a little bit stronger. I mean, he's 6'9, he's 215, yeah. and then you know he can even be really super dangerous. Uh, did before and last year had 17 versus Louisville. Uh, he's a, a big factor for this team this season for sure. What, what we saw earlier from him is his ability to pass from the top of the key. I think the one thing he's gonna have to do is start shooting the ball. I mean he Shoots at a good percentage from three, he just doesn't take enough. And I think he's going to have to look to take more shots as they go forward and get ready for conference play. State by 17, thanks in large part to this guy tonight. Just a bucket. I mean, he's just what he is. He scores at all three levels. 
you know, however you want it, runners, get to the passing lane. We talked about him being second in the ACC still, turning defense in the offense, and has unlimited range to shoot the quick off the dime like that. It's a tough cover. And uh, you want to make a challenge for him. When you're guarding a guy like that, you just want to say, hey, he's going to get his number. I just want to make him shoot a poor percentage. And right now, tonight, he's shooting the ball well and shooting just right above 50%. So. 43 points now in the last two games for Terquavian Smith. And let's also add he's the ACC leading assist guy. He got yeah. five more tonight. And yep. Playmaking ability is just something that's been added to his game. And for enjoy, sure. Enjoy him while you can, folks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're on the clock. I don't think he'll come back next year. <laughs> right. <laughs> Correct. 66 assists. He had 67 all of last year. Yeah. He's definitely. Yeah. Added to his game. You know what? That's a credit to him and a credit to the staff. Mm -hmm. You know, I know Keats has adjusted his staff this year with Kareem Richardson, who was with him at Louisville. And, you know, Levi Watkins went to my Flint Hill High School together. And Joe Justice over there was my ball boy. That makes me feel so old. He was my <laughs> ball boy at Wake Forest. Are you kidding me? I saw you talking to yeah, him earlier tonight. Yeah, he's yeah. just unbelievable guy. So proud of him, happy for him. It's unbelievable. His family, his father was the SID for me at Wake Forest. That's great. Don't you just love, though, how the network kind of grows, you oh. know, especially in this game? I mean, I love college basketball, right? I mean, you know, you played you know, a tremendous player at the highest level there at Wake Forest, and then, you know, you played professionally, NBA, overseas. You coached, right, yeah. back at yeah. Wake Forest. All the people that you've known and learned and, you know, been with over the years, and that, that's everybody, right? Well, I mean, it's a, a just future. a reminder of why you ultimately do it. Just the relationship that you established, even from your time when you attend school in college. And then if you're fortunate enough to work around and in collegiate athletics, nothing about those relationships and, and mentorships you established with some of these young athletes. Foul. On the way in was Pegues alongside Randolph Childress tonight. Mike Corey with you. John Madry's been doing a great job with us for stats. Good to see you again, my friend. What a great job by our crew here at NC State. Our producer, Josh Monk, with our director, Justin Stahl. Wesley Myers punching buttons with our AD, Corey Evans, our associate producer, Jeff Satterfield. David Obeid, along with Will Black. Great job here tonight by everyone. And replay, Lauren Davis and Christine Williams. All right, so the fans uh, got to get up here. Chicken, get chicken. I want my chicken sandwich. <laughs> Free chicken biscuit here for the fans of Chick Fil A. If he misses this one, <laughs> there you go. There we go. Merry Christmas. Where's my, where's my, where's my ticket stuff? <laughs> oh, we get one too. I don't know. I'm gonna well, show the press pass. The the bar, yeah, we'll see what they do. That's where we're going tonight. <laughs> We got time. Early start. Hey, why not? That's great. Early dinner for us. That's cool. There you go. Wolfpack fans. Great thing that they do here with it. A lot of <laughs> programs, a lot of yeah. Rangers do it. Watch that. I want to thank a few others here tonight. Alexander Carlson on video. Andrew Taylor on audio with Tower S and Wayne. Sounded great tonight, guys. Thanks so much. On our cameras, Chris Walsh, Mark Dry, Jeff Trower, and Daniel Bentley. And helping with us here tonight, Trip Culbreth and Tim West. 87 to 70, NC State by 17. There's two minutes and 29 seconds to go in this one. Trying to go to nine and three on the season. Now you look at some of the losses, right? You get a six point loss to Kansas. No problem there. You had hit an eight point loss, but that's, you know, with Joyner going over 12 in the field at one point. That doesn't seem like that's going to happen again, you wouldn't think. And then Miami, a seven point loss on the road at a very, very good Miami team. So uh, they're all right here, you know, nine to three after tonight. They're, they're fine. They're, they're in a good place, particularly tonight, to respond the way they did and, and, and play the way Coach Keats wants them to play. And that's pressure on the basketball, forced turnovers, knock down threes. You know, it's just, uh, I, I think he feels comfortable with his group heading into finals and looking forward to getting healthy bodies back and even adding bodies with Isaiah Miranda coming in and, and seeing how far this team can go. This team is set up. They got to dig themselves out of an 0 2 hole, but I think they'll do so. DeWan is at the free throw line here. Double bonus time for NC State. We can talk about what uh, Bob Ritchie, the other side's done for Furman and the development of players and 
you know, Kevin Keats is, you know, has got to be one of the best at that, right? I mean, when he was at Hargrave and all the players that he had a mentor to get up to the next level and you know, what he knows they need to do to improve their game. I mean, such a great teacher over there, and we can see it with Wolfpack. And both, both of these teams are well-coached teams. And I, I think Bob Ritchie will be a hot major coach sometime next yeah. year. I, I really don't think it'll matter whether he wins it so far or not. I think he's a really good young coach, and you just watch his team play, you'd be really impressed. And I'm just, it's just fun to watch. I mean, it, just to keep those guys. I can't, with this, the, the NILs and all the transfer portal things that's going on right now, <laughs> for him to keep his two best players that I know high major teams would have would have won. It's just a credit to him. I mean, who wouldn't add a 6'3 physically gifted lefty that gives you the defense that gives you 20 a night in Mike Bothwell and being able to retain him is just a fun player. Not a great night tonight, but yeah. it's fun to watch and He'll respond. Pass had made the previous jumper for NC State to put him up to 90 points. And now Bothwell here after the miss. It's a 19 point lead. It's under two minutes to go. It's just tough to press. There's too many handles on this team. I mean, it, at any given time, they're going to have four guys on the floor that can. Just a great defensive play again by Slauson. It's just so fun to watch him play. He, he, he really competes on this end of the floor. And, not a lot of guys take pride on that as much as he does and pretty sure he's going to be an early candidate for repeat as SOCON defensive player of the year. Yeah. First team selection and you know, he's had a triple double before in his career and you know, last game 25 points 19 in the second half. Definitely a player of the year candidate. Pass misses there's Clark to follow it up and in. 15 for him. Now, NC State scored 107 versus FIU back on November 15th. That's crazy. Also 94 in the win over Coppin State and 92 here tonight. It's a great job by State. Just rallying into the basketball all night, helping each other, pressuring the ball, speeding this Furman team up. And they also had 99 in game one versus Austin P. So points are not a problem. This Wolf Pack team, they're going to empty the bench with 59.1 remaining. Nice ovation for the fans here at PNC Arena. That should always be a goal of the scholarship athletes. You know, those guys, these walk ons practice just as hard. They do everything weight room, running, all the conditioning that you do. And it's supposed to be a goal of yours to get these guys out on the floor to get them in a stat book. So let's see who can get a rebound, who can get an assist, who can score so they can officially be. You know, in the Again, books. To your point, I mean, and, and people say, yeah, yeah, but no, it, it goes without saying. They got to run the scout, you know, yes, for the other yes. team. They got to put a good scout out there, make sure they're in the right positions, yes. run on the plays to show your starters what you're going to be looking at. Well, most of those guys, they know all of your offense and they know the other team's offense yeah. as well. So they. <laughs> Impressive. Coach Keats has his son out there right there. Take, get in the scorebooks. Get in the books. Come on, KJ. Give it to him again. Three pointer. It's off the mark that time by Chase Graham. And Foster lays it in for Furman. Talked to Coach Keats about that as well. It's, it's a, nothing better than coaching your son, no matter what, and him being there with you when you trial and everything else. Coaches spend so much time away from their families, and it's always wonderful when you can get as much time as you can with your kids. And now we're about to be done here. Again, prayers to. Coach Leach and his family and, mm -hmm. yep. and the Mississippi State community. Our prayers are with you guys. Point six on the clock. That'll run out here in a second as coaches Bob Ritchie and Kevin Keats shake hands. And NC State wins this one 92 to 73. The final score here tonight. They improved to nine and three on the season. Furman's going to drop to seven and four. 24 points for Tequavian Smith to lead the way for the Wolfpack here in this one. They had 